Hello people of YouTube, this is Mr. Bernie C, and this is part 4 of Let's Play Kirby 64. And we have finally finished the Pop Star in the last episode or video. We've defeated the final boss of the Pop Star, and now we are on this new star. If you saw the scene, we kind of like got into like the Crystal Shard. And we uh, flew away onto this new star, which is called the Rock Star. Anyways, this is a pretty easy star in my opinion, but we're not going to be talking about that very much. I have a little announcement. I have uh, received a... Well, I have, um, I have hit the milestone of 5 subscribers. I know that is not a lot, but for me it's a pretty good accomplishment. And i just like to thank anyone who's watching this video because you... Well, excuse me, right now are watching my video, and you took the time to click on this video, and you are watching it right now, so I thank you. Anyways, I have star, and star for you guys is, um, a little, like, story about, um, pretty much my childhood, and so, well, let's get started, okay, so as a little kid, I, uh, I was, a uh, a little kid, obviously, but anyways, I used to go to McDonald's often, but not so often to get fat. Anyways, I went to McDonald's pretty much, you know, at least once a week, I would say. And you know, I would always get my chicken nuggets with them, and I would always dunk them in barbecue sauce and nothing else. And before I say anything else, I'm, gonna, I'm using um, special power against this boss. I am sorry I had to because um, later on in this level we're going to have to get the power combination of uh, rock and electricity because um, that's how we're going to get our third crystal shard and if we don't have those, um, if, if we don't have that power combination we're gonna not we're not going to get that crystal shard and if we're not going to get that crystal shard this this uh, basically let's play or, or my walk or whatever will not be a hundred percent through and we don't want that to happen so that's that and i apologize oh, maybe if you were looking for a hundred percent um like like someone that would um, defeat the bosses um, without any special powers but i would try my, I, I would do most of the bosses without any special powers it's just this is an exception anyways getting back to my story so i went to mcdonald's at least once a week, and I always got my chicken nuggets and dunked them in barbecue sauce. So good. Until I found out what they have in those chicken nuggets. But we're not going to get into that. So, at this McDonald's place, there's a certain McDonald's that I like to, I like to go. Uh, um, for this one reason, because um, at that time, I'm not sure if they have them um, now. But... They had, uh, what's it called? They had three N64s at that one McDonald's. And every time I would go there, I would either watch the kids or play the N64s myself. At that time, I did not have any sort of gaming console. And right here we get our third crystal shard. This is what I was talking about. Destroy that little block. And there you go. There's your third crystal shard. A little, like, tip. You know how the... Like our last one, it was um, a green block that we had to destroy, and that you had to have the power combination of cutter and cutter. Well, you see how that um, that block was just green. Well, that's pretty much like a hint telling you that you need um, a power combination and that to be this certain color. And this last one that we just um, we just got, it was a uh, that little stone. It was um, the stripes of a. Uh, brown and yellow and those are hints and right now we have a rock and yellow and those are the colors of brown and yellow so that's a little hint if you're stuck so we're gonna get to our next level and i have to continue my story okay so at this mcdonald's they had three n 64s and on the first one they had super smash bros and everyone loved the super smash bros everyone would gather around and the little kids would have tournaments and i would just watch and then maybe at times i would be i get i would get invited to play and uh, back then i was pretty shy but i'm you know i'm not that shy anymore um, in my opinion but yeah i was pretty shy back then and i just didn't i just wanted to watch them but anyways the other two and well 
Well, before I get into that, I, I remember bringing my friend into uh, McDonald's once, and then, like, he, uh, he was playing as Mario, and I was, like, really amazed because he uh, made Mario supposedly bigger. And it, it was actually just the pop, the taunt, and I made him bigger. It's just this taunt, and it was doo -doo 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 -doo. And he just gets on bigger. Anyways, so on the second, um, N64, there was, um, I don't remember. I I want to say that there was this. No, no. I if I remember correctly, there was this like racing game when you got onto this motorcycle and then you you um basically it's just uh, it's a standard um racing game with a motorcycle. Anyways, that wasn't really too interesting for me. I mean, I don't like racing games as much, except for Mario Kart. I don't know why. I just really like Mario Kart for some reason. That, that's the only racing game I really like. Anyways, continuing, the third N64 had a demo of Kirby 64, and I reason the reason I say a demo, because it really wasn't the full game. All you could do was play the first level of, um, of Kirby 64, which was uh, the pop star in the very first level. That's um my de my very first video. That very first level, and that's all you could play. There was no mini games. There was nothing, and that that was pretty much it. That's all you had. And once you beat it, you gotta play it again. Great. So that wasn't really that much fun, and I knew that there was more to that game. I mean, come on, only one level to a game. Like, that's pretty cheap. Anyways, so I basically decided to get myself my own N64, and, you know, I begged my parents very much, and finally we came to an agreement of, if I filled this sort of, um, it was like a piggy bank, and it was in the, sh in the form of a, a rabbit, and it was plastic, it wasn't a breakable material, so, and it had little at the bottom so you could um, reuse it anyways if they said if I filled that up I would be able to I, I, I they would buy me a N64 so I was very happy at first but then it kind of took me a little while to fill that up with a lot of change and I remember putting in a lot of pennies and they said fill it up so I went ahead and filled it up with anything so eventually it it took me a very long time, not exactly sure it, uh, how long it took me, but I remember it took me a very long time. Anyways, we finally, we, I, I finally um, filled up the whole thing, and I believe stores like GameStop were still selling the N64. I do remember that the GameCube was out at that time, and you know, people were on to the next, um, Generation and they had a, they went on to the GameCube, but I still wanted my N64. So I remember my mom went to the swap me, and then she found an N64. I I think I was with her. Yeah, I was with her, and and um, yeah, we went ahead and we called my dad, and then it was just some like 20 year old guy. He just wanted to get rid of his N64, and but this was a pretty good condition N64. And I still own my N64 today, I'm playing um, Kirby 64 on this, obviously, but anyways, so we went ahead and called my dad, and I I, I already had um, filled that rabbit piggy bank, and, and yeah, and then we went ahead and, and bought it, and that was my very first console of my life, and I was very happy, and my first game, it, it was like a little bundle, and it came with, um, I think, two controllers. I think I got another controller further on. And and a game of um, Super Mario 64. And that game was pretty good. And there's my epic fail. That took me a little while to get around this maze. But it, it was only like 50 seconds. But, you know, I didn't want to give you guys 50 seconds of... Uh, boring gameplay anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my little story this is the end i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time goodbye